The stars are not out of them bright Deep in the heart of Texas Or, as you locals like to call it, the Big D. Really, Dallas? As if you don't brag about everything being big in Texas, you turn your entire city into a darn joke? Whether you're a Big D, Little D, or a Narrow D, I'm counting on your votes, so I can be elected President of the United States. Besides you humans being a bunch of perverts, I can be happy to inform you that those are the only issues to worry about. There are no other red-hot controversial topics that Dallas and the state of Texas have going on right now that they butt heads with the world about. Everything is great, and they know their rights and freedoms are perfectly protected and are no way getting an argument from people of different political views which will permanently divide this nation. Now, I know you people from Texas really love your stilt, so I want to put up this disclaimer as you watch this video. This YouTube channel is meant to be entertaining, and no comment that I say should ever be taken seriously. Thank you, and God bless America. Sincerely, future President Oliver de Seattle. P.S. Texas sucks. So Dallas is the largest metropolitan area in the United States that is completely landlocked. As I see out of this really disappoints me, where am I going to get my seafood? <laughs> Dallas, I take back anything bad I've ever said about you and probably will in the future. You know what can even make it better? tex mex style! If spicy food is not your thing, you can always get some good old Texas barbecue or some southern soul food. And everything truly is bigger in Texas here, cause the portions are freaking ginormous! Especially when you get a gigantic frozen margarita to cool yourself off on those hot southern days. The frozen margarita machine was actually invented here in Dallas on May 11th, 1971, by Mario Martinez. Instead of a Moscow Mule, how about you get yourself an El Diablo? It's basically a Moscow Mule but with tequila instead. And if you're super thirsty, head on over to Jake's Burgers and get yourself one of Jake's Jumbos. No, not that, sucko. I'm talking about one of these. It serves up to four people. Well, I'm a sea otter, and consuming 50% of my daily weight in calories a day, I'm going to assume that that four servings means one serving for a sea otter. I'll be back. Oh, I drink from a Dallas What's really fun is that even though there's just a bunch of giant buildings around, you can still wear a 10-gallon cowboy hat and actually get a compliment. Oh, howdy, partner! You say you're one of them vegetarians? Well, an onion can make people cry, but there's never been a vegetable that can make people laugh. And speaking of cowboys, that's the name of the NFL football team. Now, they have not won a Super Bowl since 1996, but you know what? There are 12 teams in the NFL that have never won a Super Bowl. And the Cowboys have won five. And they're not the only team to win a championship. The Mavericks and the Stars each also have a championship, too. Although, I have a serious Dallas beef to pick here with the Stars. They used to be the North Stars out of Minnesota, which is the state of hockey. Do you see any frozen ponds around here in Dallas? Come on, that is stupid! If you're more into arts and music than there are sports and booze, Dallas has her covered. The Dallas Arts District is the biggest metropolitan arts district in the entire United States. Many people in the United States think of Dallas as just another big city that blasts Big D energy, but my time campaigning here has made me realize that this city is so much more than that. When I am elected President of the United States, here are five ways I will represent Dallas and all y'all humans. Number one, a national holiday for frozen margaritas! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 
Oh, yes! May 11th will be an official holiday where frozen margaritas will be allowed on the job. It will be the perfect time of the year to celebrate because the weather is starting to get hot and teachers are almost out of school. Okay, class, the year is almost over and I can't wait to start my summer without your bunch of ding-dongs acting like hyenas on crack and damn it, Jimmy, stop drawing wieners in your science book. Oh, kids, where's on margaritas? They make any occasion more tolerable. Number two, a parade to honor Mario Martinez. He deserves all the recognition that this country can possibly give him. Congress will fund a massive margarita machine with a freaking hose attached to it, sprawling the crowd with frozen happy good times. Mr. Martinez, Thank you so much for making our lives so much better in these trying times. You truly are one hero that does not suck. Number three. Return the stars to Minnesota. Oh, come on, come on, people. Hear me out, really? Seriously? Oh, ah, controversial topics. Now hear me out, okay, Dallas? I don't mean that I'm getting rid of hockey in the city. I just mean that Minnesota can reclaim the North Star's branding, and Dallas can start up its own franchise from scratch that has more to do with the city. And there's a bunch of cool animals around here you can change them into, such as the ocelot, or the scorpions, or the, um, uh, rabid armadillos? What would you like the stars to be renamed as? Or would you rather just keep the name the same and tell me to go myself. Please leave your comments in the section below. Number four, make the arts district even bigger. That's right, one thing you should always boast about being bigger in Texas is that wonderful arts district. Along with infinite possibilities of traveling art installations and live performances, others can get some recognition too. There will be a permanent exhibit devoted to art for Seattle's Seattle's. Now, I know that Dallas is landlocked and Seattle's really don't live here, but the Lone Star State needs a constant reminder of why humans are inferior to Seattle's in every way. Uh, number five, construct the D Highway. The traffic in Dallas is not the best, just like in every city. However, I've laid out some construction plans that should ease up the metro congestion. From Dallas, you want to be able to easily swing through the suburbs and hit both Fort Worth and Plano. So there will be two nice express loops that swing from those areas and to many suburbs in between. Then, you need to get from Denton to Dallas. So that's why we'll build express lines from the east and west sides of Dallas right to Denton. All the highway lighting will be solar powered and will be great and saving energy. I call it the Big D Energy Hell So buckle up and ride that Big D. Thanks for having me, y'all. It's been great visiting Dallas. Now remember to vote for me as President Oliver 2024. I'll last you all into a new age of freedom. Vote for an answer because humans are trash. There are many more cities to visit on the campaign tour. Until then, y'all come back now, you hear? Woo-hoo!